In part 15 of our SharePoint intranet series, I'd like to edit the home page. So I'm going to edit this page and there's a couple of web parts that I'd like to add. Of course, I'm going to leave the news web part, but I'm going to change the section. I just want to first, so I want to change the section and I want to put in two columns there. So the news I'm going to leave on the left. So I'm going to take the news and drag it up there. And on the right hand side, I want to add my Twitter feed. So let's go Twitter. It's going to ask me what address. So we'll use Tracy VDS. And then it also asks me how many number of items to show. So I definitely write way too many blogs. So I'm going to just leave it on, um, let's say, two. There we go. So I've got my news feed and I've got that. And then when I scroll down, I want to add um, some more web parts here. So I'm going to add another two column section. I'm going to bring in a document owner for the documents. So, uh, and I'm going to add a web part for FAQ. And then I'm going to add those web parts below this. So I'm going to add a document library web part and I'm going to add the list um, web part here. And yeah, I'm going to choose um, the brain and then I'm going to choose the FAQs and I want to edit the brains view to be that grouped view department or document types by department doesn't matter and I'm going to apply that and then the FAQs I'm going to edit and say that I want this to look at the group by department also auto size so now I've got an owner and I've got my document library web parts I also want to bring in um, so we can actually do that yeah I want to bring in my stream channel for any videos I'd like to surface so stream and I'm gonna just go to stream this is the channel that I'd like to um, surface so I'm gonna open this and uh, I'm gonna just click there and say share to get the link so copy and I'll go back to my SharePoint site and uh, it's not a single video it's a channel that I'll add because of course then I can keep on adding to that so there's my documents, um, there's my Twitter and my news. I can also add um, my Yammer below this. So Yammer, human resources, there we go. That's the group I want to surface there in Yammer. Events I'll definitely leave there because I want to be able to surface events. The highlighter document web part I don't really use. So I've got uh, links here. I've got my news feed, I've got Twitter, I've got documents on the owners, um, I've got my um, videos I want to surface, I've brought in my um, Yammer, I'm going to leave the events there, I'm definitely going to use the quick links as well, so I'll modify that at some later stage. I can also say who is this page contact, so who's the person um, responsible for the specific page, and we're going to just say Tracy. And then of course I also want to add my feedback form, so I'm going to say uh, forms, there we go, Microsoft forms, so to get the link to my form, I'm going to just go to the Nerve Center feedback, share, uh, copy, go back to my site now um, I can do one of two things here I can actually surface the form which I'm going to do and the results so maybe you want to like see um, what people are actually saying about the intranet so that's collecting responses and then on this side I'm going to add that same form but I'm going to display the results so existing form show results and so okay so that means there's the form and there's any of the results we've gotten so far so people can actually see what the general uh, feel is um, for your intranet it gets a little bit long I always switch off the comments okay so um, it's no use if you're not monitoring it so there we go there's a very very quick edit of, uh, of the home page we'll definitely come back and uh, make some more changes as we go on news Twitter documents stream conversations from Yammer, the events, uh, page contact, and then my feedback form. Chat soon.